plesne cíti v tom nevedomí. Sklúb yoga hudra for a smile while being in the bed of you. If you're now here, make sure you click that subscribe button and visit our website where you can find the link in the description below. So let's start. Taking a moment to having the spine long and as we're going to work through as well today by working toward the energies along the spine, studying at the base, lying at the base of the spine, up toward the front of the head by doing calf flex grounding and now let's do a cow and again, let's do a cow. And now the cow. Just moving with the vertebrae and here we really, as we want to reach the lower back, let's make sure you're starting by moving more toward the sacral area and after that lumbar and mid back and upper back. More than the chin into the chest and you slowly you might feeling the breath changing the rhythm and good a nice cat cow a seated cat cow and now again hands toward the knees and lifting shoulders and really sit really fast in and out like the nose and our mouth may be having a gentle opening of the lips. And now let's release it. Opening mouth and ah, let go and letting go of which is not serving you the tensions. And now gaze for the right. And now gaze toward the left. And again, gaze for the right. Gaze toward, towards the left. And now from the neutral, let's bring the arms out to the side and up, from touch and toward your heart center. And again, one more time. Inhale. And the exhale. And now inhale, let's raise the arms, hands toward the shoulders. And now let's twisting toward the left as you inhale and toward the right as you exhale. What a beautiful awakening yeah, of all nice grippy sensations. Especially if you are working hard and you at the desk for a long day and forgetting your physical body sometimes it happens and now let's release it from the jaw opening mouth and, uh, and now let's interlace the fingers at the lower back and let's bring the fist toward the right hip and let's lengthen in the neck and right here, right shoulder. And now let's come in back. Fist toward the left. 
and now lean to the neck and left ear, left shoulder. And now from your 12, it's coming back, keeping the feet center lock, blade of the shoulders back and doing a bow. And now let's come in back. Again, as you release the fist, ah, letting go, good work. And now the next one movement is gonna to be to bend the elbows and shoulders high, bending the knuckles as well. And as we exhale, hands out and inhale and exhale. I'm gonna ask you to bring your gaze at your nose as, as also. And there is a gentle opening of the lips. And Gaze at your nose and a gentle O shape with the mouth. And now into the next one, inhale. And now hold it, contracting, sex organ, red tongue, pelvic, pelvic floor muscles, and the navel, and hold it. And now exhale, let's release it. One more time, inhale. And now the exhale, good. And now the next one is gonna be bring the right arm forward and the left elbow bend, palm up. There is a movement happening, it's kind of the cage, switching sides. Inhale and exhale. Still keeping the gaze at our nose and let's moving the spine with the rib cage as you're moving at the arms and using the arms as a leverage to bring you into the twist and again gaze at your nose a gentle o shape with the mouth and here we want to as well to stimulate the gland by for the hormones, into this club, into this series of movements. Keeping the shoulders low, a wave of your ears. And it's doing 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, two, and the last one. Right arm forward, and now hold it again, contracting, holding the breath. We retain the breath by contracting also to as well the pelvic floor muscles, six again, rectum navel, and exhale, release it. And now the left arm downwards, and again, holding it. And now exhale, let's release it. The next one movement, we're gonna bend in the, uh, bending the elbows and knuckles again, but this time we're gonna working with the spring, retracting the blade of the shoulders toward the spine. We do some circles, we're gonna take in a few breaths like that. Gaze at your nose. And now again, the next one, inhale, 
holding the breath. And it's contracting the base of the spine up toward the navel. And exhale, release it. One more, inhale. Contracting, holding the breath. And exhale, let's release it. Nice, you might feel in the warm into your back. And now let's come in into all fours. And let's pointing the toes, stacking the uh, wrists and shoulders, knees and ankle. And now let's rounding the spine. And now it's curling and tucking the toes, lifting tailbone and coming back. Pointing toes, let's round in. And again, curling and tucking the toes. Pointing toes, let's join the cap. Curling and tucking the toes, let's do in the cow. Let's do if you at your own rhythm, like that. Playing with the toes. Oh. And now the last one. And now from the 12, let's pointing toes and let's using the index of mid fingers to Bring the heels touch a bit more, sitting into your heels and arms on either side of your body. And now let's lifting the knees and and now let's release it. Back into your hands and now let's bring the knee lifted, slightly lifted. And now release it. And again, six. You lift and you lower. Five, four, three, two, and the last one. Good work. Curling and tucking the toes. And now let's do the downward facing dog. Let's now bending the left knee, right heel onto the mat, bending the right knee, left heel onto the mat. We're just playing like that. Good. And now from the toe, let's do a bouncing. Bouncing and widen the toes. And maybe you're getting a bit tightness into more one toe than another one toe more than another one maybe widen and let's play readjusting and now let's bring back with the knees onto the floor and now let's melting the hard hands at the front corner of the mat and forehead or chin onto the floor if this is really tight movement for you let's again Lifting half a lift and widen the arms a bit more. The block can be on the knee of your forehead or, or on chin onto the block or completely onto the floor. And now onto your belly. Let's cradle hips with the right, hips toward the left, and rocking the pelvis. Pointing toes, heels in, toes out, and now let's come in onto your elbows. And for arms, grabbing the elbow. They are on the knee of the shoulders. Let's try not to have like 30 degrees a bit forwards. Let's do step. And again, cradle, and good. And now we're gonna just lengthening the neck, shoulders away from the ears front of the head up. Be in the moment.
Mm. It's maybe a nice place to receive from the ground. To lift, to build, to create energies in, into your temple. Big spinal breath awareness from the base of the spine up toward the crown of the head, not all between the eyebrows, and, but feeling the energies, you know, the elongation of the spine and shoulders, the weight of the earth as you sink onto your the ball of the pelvis, hips and pubic bone are stable. Onto the onto the ground. And now as you release it, you're gonna bring the left arm on top of the left. You're gonna bring the elbows aligned. Yeah. Hands are out to the side. Gaze forwards again. And now you're going to bring the right arm on top of the left, elbow to elbow. Hands out to the side. And now let's release it. Let's come in into child's pose, shifting the hips back and extend the child's pose. You're gonna bring the knees aligned with the hips now, and you're gonna bring the arms back, palms up, and forehead onto the floor. Child's pose. 